this is Tony. I know it's been a while I haven't uploaded any tutorial but hey, here's a new one. I've been getting quite a few emails asking me how to create CG environments having volumetric clouds and whether to use Krakatoa or Fume effects to create those effects. Now of course you can create volumetric clouds using both of these plugins but when it comes to CG environment creation, I widely used Fume. Sometimes I use Afterwind to create volumetric clouds as well. So this is what we're going to create this time. I was asked to make a tutorial on how to make a scene that is placed over the clouds. I'll take it a little further by showing you how to integrate Vue, 3ds Max and Krakatoa all together into the production of this sort. Alright, so let's get started. So here we are on Vue. For those who are not familiar with Vue, it's an environment creation software made by E.ON based in France and this is perhaps the most advanced CG environment creation tool available in the market. And it is absolutely not possible to cover all the aspects of this software, even briefly in this tutorial. So I will constrain myself to only this particular effect we want to create here. Now Vue comes in two versions, Vue Infinite and Vue Extreme. Both of these have same features except that you can use Vue Extreme within another host application, such as Maya or 3ds Max etc. I'm using Vue Extreme with 3ds Max here, but if you have Vue Infinite, uh, you can still follow along to create your clouds. Now before we start, I must mention one important thing here. If you find your render times very long in some Vue scenes, it is not because Vue is a slow renderer. Rendering volumetric clouds and stuff like that are really really resource, in uh, resource intensive processes. Well, I'll show you how to create clouds with pretty realistic look and much less render time. So to create clouds, go to the Atmosphere tab and click on Atmosphere Editor. Here you can see we have several models and the Spectral model is the latest one and the most advanced of course. So make sure it's selected. The environment mapping uses an image file to mimic the environment instead of using a model. So anyway, we'll talk about this uh, in some other tutorial if possible. On the light tab, select the global ambience. Now this won't give you the most realistic result, but it's considerably faster than the global radio city lighting model, which is the most realistic one. But trust me, you can get pretty realistic results and get along with this in many situations. Now in the clouds tab, click on add to add a cloud layer. And you can see different cloud models here. Cumulus, Spectral, Spectral 2, Stratus, and Volumetric Clouds. The Spectral, Spectral 2, and Volumetric Clouds have thickness to them, uh, which means you can fly through them like real clouds. The Spectral and Spectral 2 will give you the most realistic cloud images, but takes ridiculously long time to render if you get closer to them or make the camera fly through them. We will use Volumetric Cloud in our case, and this will give you pretty real looking clouds with reasonably low render time. So select the volumetric cloud model and select cumulus cloud type. Alright, now right click on the cloud material and click on edit material. I just double click on it and in the lighting and effect tab select the volumetric layer version 1 as the lighting model. Make sure only internal shadows is selected and the rest options won't make any remarkable improvement in our scene. Uh, I'll discuss about this in some other tutorial if possible, so just leave them unchecked for this and go to color and density tab. Double click the density production filter type and from the time splines select the resume start filter. Click OK. Turn on custom cloud layer profile and double click on the filter type. From the time spline select the pendular ones, click on OK, then right click on it and select edit. Double click here and here and turn on smooth curve. Click OK. Decrease the uniformity to about 10 or 15%, variation to about 50% and click OK. Now since we are creating a scene above the clouds, we will drop its altitude a little and raise its height. This will increase the thickness of the cloud layer. Decrease the cover percentage, the density, 
the opacity as well. Increase the altitude variation to around 30% and increase the ambient light just a little. Now select the camera by clicking here. Oh, by the way, double click the camera and deselect auto exposure and natural film response and disable your gamma correction by going here and unchecking this box here if it is enabled before. We can always correct for exposure in post. Now zoom out so you can see the cloud layer and raise the camera just over the clouds. Right the way you can see we have something we are looking for. I reduce the cover percentage to give the clouds a little more broken pattern and decrease the density a little as well. Now let's tweak the sky haze and fog parameters to mimic more kind of a above the cloud environment. Decrease the sky ground density to half of its value and raise its mean altitude. Similarly decrease the decay amount to half and raise its altitude a little as well. Now increase the haze ground density a little and raise the fog ground density considerably high to around 300% here. And decrease its altitude a little. This will restrict the light to travel far towards the ground and give a thick fill to the cloud layer by filling up the gaps. Now the glow intensity controls the glow effect of the sun. We will reduce it to a fairly low amount. And reduce the scattering anisotropy and cloud anisotropy as well. This controls the scattering of the sun rays into the atmosphere. Now increase the aerial perspective a little. and adjust the cam for a bit of view. Close the atmosphere editor and open the render option by going here and select broadcast quality, render to screen and select a size. And let's do a test render. So this is what we have here. Let's go back to Atmosphere Editor. You can open it by hitting the shortcut F4. And let's reduce the cloud materials scale to half. Hit OK and let's adjust the cam a little more. Oh, by the way, you can use the middle mouse wheel to zoom in and out and right click to pan around. Let's do one more test render. So this is looking pretty good and render time is pretty reasonable as well. To make it more interesting we will add another cloud layer. So double click the cumulus cloud here and this is another way of opening the material, the atmospheric editor, the atmosphere editor. Click on add and let's add a 2D layer. So click on stratus cloud and select any of these cloud types and hit OK. Let's adjust the altitude a little and hit OK. Let's do another render. And we still need some more tweaking to make it look good. So close this and open the atmosphere editor again. Increase the decay amount a little and go to the sun tab. The azimuth controls the sun's position with respect to the camera. As you can see, if I change this value, the sun's position changes around the camera. 
This ranges from 0 to 360, covering a full circular path around the camera. The pitch value controls the height of the sun with respect to the horizon. As I decrease it, you can see the sun is going down. And if I adjust the azimuth, you can see the sun is placed in front of the camera near the horizon. Let's go back to the sky fog and his tab and decrease the decay mean altitude a little to have a little more light in our scene and do one more test run now. Back in the sun tab, we will reduce the sun size and the size of the corona as well and increase the sun's glow and scattering and cloud anisotropy as well. And let's do a final render. As you can see, we have a pretty good looking above this guy scene here. And the render time is only 18 seconds, which is pretty reasonable considering the frame size. Oh, by the way, this is just a simple Core i7 processor and nothing fancy here we still have pretty low render time on this machine as you can see so in the next part of this tutorial we will integrate 3ds max and create the waterfall and render that in krakatoa and composite all the passes together to finish the sort till then happy flying and take care